Hey, hey, I'm Mindy Kniss. This is The Daily Rage. Let's talk today about how you can use the ATR to determine how much you might want to trail your stop by. Now, to be clear, first and foremost, it absolutely 100% has to be within your risk parameter. But assuming that you do have enough to risk in your account, then here are a couple different ways to figure it out. Reason I wanted to talk about this is I hear a lot of students say, oh, well, why don't you just trail your stop? And that sounds like a really easy idea. Like, great, we can lock in profit as the price action goes in our direction. That sounds wonderful. But how do we know how much to trail by? Because either if we're too close to the price action, yeah, we might lock in a little more profit, but we're going to get stopped out too much. And if we're trailing too far away from it, we might not lock in the profit that we would like. So it is this fine balance. There isn't necessarily a right or wrong answer in this. So I wanted to show you what I do so that you can get an idea and see if it works for you. So to orient you, we're looking at the Dow futures here. This is a two minute, five minute, 10 minute, 60 minute and daily chart down here. Now, when we're talking about the ATR, most people usually refer to the ATR in terms of the daily ATR. This is what I have down here on this daily chart. You can see this pink line right here. That is the average that the Dow futures moves on any given day. Right now, it happens to be 312.42. But you can see that I also have the ATR here on my five-minute chart. So this is now not talking about the daily ATR, but the five-minute ATR. In other words, what is the average movement of these five-minute candles? So if that is 17.3 right now, if we round that up just to make it an even number, easier math, that would be 18. And if we take 18 points on the Dow, each point is $5. So that would be $90. So if I'm looking at this chart and I'm saying, okay, if I'm going to trail my stop, I probably should not be less than 17 or 18 points. I usually give myself a little bit extra just in case. But let's say you said, okay, Mindy, well, I don't have $90 to risk. My first thing is you should not be trading the mini, you should be trading the micro. But let's say that was your scenario, you still wanted to trade the mini. Well, what I would do then is I would go down in time frame. So this one is a two minute, and you can see that this ATR is only 10.66. So 50, $55, you could trail it much closer in if you're using this smaller time frame. If you have a whole lot more to risk, of course, you can go higher in the time frame and do it based on that. So while I usually use the parabolic SAR, that is just one more way to consider how far away from the price action you want to trail your stop. Tomorrow is FOMC day. So if any of you need a reminder on the FOMC one, two, three trade, there are dozens of videos on my site about that. You can find them at lucra.com. I'm Mindy Kinnis. Thanks so much for watching.